welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i explain derivation of probability density function of chi square distribution for which what i consider the moment alternating function of chi square distribution which means i consider a chi square variate what is the definition the chi square variate is nothing but sum of the squares of the n independent standard normal variates which means summation i is equal to 1 to n xi minus mu i divided by sigma i the whole square which is equivalent to let it be summation i is equal to 1 to n z i square where z i is equivalent to b xi minus mu i divided by sigma i what is x1 x2 xn x1 comma x2 and so on xn which are independent normal variates where xi follows a normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma i square okay this is what i consider x1 x2 xn so x1 follows a normal distribution with mean mu 1 sigma 1 square variance sigma 1 square x2 follows normal distribution with mean mu 2 and variance sigma 2 square and so on that is i is equal to 1 to n so on n this is what the i consider and so that uh, chi square is equal to now my point is chi square is equal to summation z i square for which i calculate the moment generating function so i consider the moment generating function the moment generating function let us consider the moment generating function of chi square which is m chi square t is equivalent to b which is nothing but m moment generating function what is chi square substitute here summation i is equal to 1 to n z i square t is equivalent to b m z 1 square plus z 2 square plus n so on plus z n square t right now i use the reproductive property or additive property of additive property of moment generating function for two random variables i am writing here mx plus yt is equal to mxt into myt this is true for and random variables also so therefore we can write reproductive property there is a additive property is also called reproductive property now is equivalent to b by using moment generating function reproductive property of moment generating function we can write as m z1 square t multiplied by m z2 square t and so on multiplied by m z n square t this is what that you consider equation and what is this the moment generating function of chi square chi square it is nothing but m z1 square t into m z2 square t and so on into m z n square t now i calculate one common value the moment generating function z square i calculate if they are equal then uh, by looking the moment generating function of chi square z square i uh, i calculate uh, mz1 square t z2 square t z n square okay right so therefore simply i consider the moment generating function of z square right so and i and again i substitute in the equation one right so therefore i consider the moment generating function of chi square z square the moment generating function of z square so the moment generating function of z square is z square t is equivalent to b now apply the formula that is a standard normal variant so it follows a normal distribution so therefore expectation of it is e power t z square by the definition of nxt expectation of e power tx expectation of e power t z square right so is equivalent to b now it depends on uh, continuous random variable since z is a continuous random variable so the formula we use the for continuous random variable as integral z limits are minus infinity to plus infinity that is normal distribution and e power t z square let it be phi z dz what is the function phi z or fz above z phi, phi of z is nothing but the, the probability density function of standard normal distribution what is the formula the phi of z is equal to 1 by root 2 pi e power minus z square by 2 and uh, limits are minus infinity z less than z less than infinity this is what the formula of the uh, probability density function of standard normal distribution 
So that's what I'm applying here. Is equivalent to be integral minus infinity to infinity e power t z square multiplied by 1 by root 2 pi e power minus z square by 2 d z. Now I'm taking 1 by root 2 pi outside, it's a constant. 1 by root 2 pi into integral minus infinity to infinity e power, I'm taking common as minus z square by 2 in the power of e. It is also e power, it's also e power. If you take minus z square by 2 as a common, then here it will be 1, minus here it will be, there is no 2, multiply with 2. And 2t, t here, minus 2t, multiply with, that is dz. Right? So now this is a e power function, e power x is an even function. So therefore, integral minus a infinity infinity. Integral minus a t a, even function is equal to, can be expressed as twice integral 0 t a. So that is what I am using here. This is equal to 1 by root 2 by 2 into integral 0 to infinity. Right? Twice integral 0 to infinity. e power minus z square by 2 into 1 minus 2t dz. This is, this is what by the definition of the, by the definition of even function. Integrand of, of the even, of a particular even function. Of an even function. So it is nothing but can be expressed as twice integral 0 to infinity. So in which uh, to resolve this integration that I consider let, let z square by 2 is equal to some particular the variable u, another variable I consider u, right. So then which implies uh, uh, differentiate 2z dz is equal to divided by 2 is equal to du, 2 will get cancelled which implies z dz is equal to du and which implies dz is equal to du by z. I want to calculate z. So here it is, z square is equal to 2u and z is equal to root 2u. Right? So substitute here, which implies dz is equal to du divided by root 2u. Do you understand this? So now dz is equal to du by root 2u, z square, is equal, z square by 2 is equal to u, z is equal to root 2u. Whatever the required values you can substitute here. So now I am substituting in this value, in this equation again that I am um, changing the integrand, the integration, integration in terms of u, integration of z I am changing in terms of u. You see here, this is what required is equivalent to be so 1 by root 2 pi multiplied by 2 into so integral limits. You see the limits again. Limits, if z is equal to 0, u is equal to 0. If z is infinity, u is infinity. So, therefore, limits do not change. Okay, thereafter, limits also a very important factor. Limits to 0 to infinity. Now, e power. Now, you see here, this is minus z square by 2. So, z square by 2 is equal to u. So, minus of 1 minus 2t multiplied by u, multiplied by dz. What is dz? du by root 2 u. It is du divided by root 2 u. Do you understand this? I have changed the integration in terms of u. The z integration converted in terms of u. Right? So is equivalent. Now you see here root 2, this is root 2 and 2 will get cancelled. Then 1 by root 5 multiplied by integral 0 to infinity e power minus of 1 minus 2t multiplied by u and u divided by root u. I am taking numerator. u power 1 by 2 here. In the numerator, it is e power minus 1 by 2 du. I change it another particular step now. Right? So, do you understand this? So, I am changing, I am arranging all this after conversion, converting the integration to u. So, now you see, this is what now, it is equivalent to be 1 by root, root pi multiplied by integral 0 to infinity e power minus of 1 minus 2t multiplied by u and u power, I am changing it is 1 by 2 minus 1. Why? I will tell you. It is just within one minute. u power 1 by 2 minus 1. Minus 1 by 2, I am writing as 1 by 2 minus 1. Right? Now, I am writing another formula. The formulas, I am writing the formulas here. Whatever the formulas I am using here in this particular uh, derivation. So, now I am writing here, this is one kind of integration. Gamma integral with two parameters. What is the formula of gamma integral 2 parameters? Integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax x power lambda minus 1 dx is equal to gamma of lambda by a power lambda. 
gamma of lambda by a power lambda r. What is uh, a? What is lambda? You have to find out here. Now you see here, this is very clear. A is one minus two t. Lambda is equal to one by two. Clear? So, so therefore, a is equal to a is equal to one minus two t, and uh, lambda is equal to one by two. This integral becomes uh, gamma integral with two parameters. Gamma integral with two parameters. Now, what I do? I convert in terms of gamma integral two parameters. Hope you understand. So, therefore. This integration now I am converting and resolving with the help of gamma integral to two parameters is equal and to be one by root pi multiplied by multiplied by this is this becomes gamma of lambda by a power lambda lambda is one by two that is gamma of one by two divided by a power lambda a is one minus two t whole power lambda is one by two so. Again, I am giving one more value. Gamma one by two. What is the value of gamma one by two? It is root pi. So therefore, it is root pi. Root pi, root pi will get cancelled. Therefore, the result is one minus two t. I am taking this value in the numerator. One minus two t whole power one by two. Hence, it is one minus two t whole power minus one by two. What is this? M j square t. Do you understand the calculation of moment generating function of j square? That is one minus two t whole power minus one by two. So there is no z1, there is no z2, or there is no zn here in this particular formula. Only t. So therefore, the are formula is identical. Formula is same for all. Z1 square. If you calculate z1 square, you will get the same result. Z2 square, same result. Zn square, same result. So therefore, this is z z i square. M z i square is always one minus two t whole power minus one by two. So therefore, for ah. Uh, M chi square t. Now we calculate M chi square t. To calculate M chi square t, which are all required formulas. Now I substitute in the formula in the equation equation one. Hope you understand. So I am erasing this and I am writing the formulas for in the equation one. All the formulas in the equation one. Therefore, M chi square t is equal to Uh, m z1 square t. I write the formula first. M z1 square t into m z2 z2 square t and so on. M z n square t. This is what the uh, equation one in which I substitute the value one minus two t whole power minus one by two is equal and to be one minus two t the whole power minus one by two. Second one is also same. One minus two t whole power minus one by two and so on. One minus two t whole power minus one by two. So therefore, it is equal to the general mass one minus two t the whole power. How many values here? N. So therefore, minus n by two. One minus one by two plus minus one by two plus n so on plus minus one by two. So minus n by two. N values. N values are there. So it is moment generating function. This is the moment generating function of chi square distribution. Remember, this is the moment generating function of chi square distribution. So therefore. Now, by using another property, we have to calculate uh, uh, the probability density function of chi square. For which, I am considering uniqueness theorem of moment generating function. What is uniqueness theorem of moment generating function? If m x t is equal to m y t, for example, then it implies and implies x is equal to y. The distribution of x and y are equal. That is what. Uniqueness theorem of moment generating function states. Now we have to discover this is the moment generating function of which distribution. Then only we can use this. So I am converting as this is one uh, minus t divided by one by two whole power minus m by two. Okay. What is this? This is the this is looking to be a moment generating function of. Gamma distribution with two parameters. I write another formula here. Gamma distribution moment generating function. For example, if consider the MHT is equal to this is the with two parameters. It is one minus p by a whole power minus lambda. This is what the moment generating function of gamma distribution with two parameters. If you if you you see if you observe this, this is also leading to that same value. But the parameters are. A is equal to one by two, lambda is equal to n by two. If we consider A is equal to one by two, lambda is equal to n by two, 
this is looking to be a moment generating function of gamma distribution that means uh, if you consider the spectral formula it is equivalent to be some for example is equal to mxt m chi square t is equal to mxt which implies and implied by chi square is equal to x that is what the result of uh, by using the uniqueness theorem of moment generating function right so by now use the uh, uniqueness theorem of moment generating function therefore chi square is equal to x therefore the distribution of x is equal to distribution of chi square in which case a is equal to 1 by 2 lambda is equal to 1 by 2 you should not forget it this is only the case where parameters a is equal to 1 by 2 lambda is equal to 1 by 2 then the uh, probability density function or simply to say then gamma distribution with two parameters equal to equal to chi square distribution the two variates are equal gamma variate with two parameters chi square variate are equal in the case where a is equal to 1 by 2 lambda is equal to n by 2 hope you understand now i'm using the by using uniqueness theorem of moment generating function but i now what is the probability density function of uh, uh, gamma distribution i write here the probability density function of gamma distribution f of x is equal to uh, a power lambda by gamma of lambda into e power minus ax x power lambda minus 1 between the limits 0 to infinity this is what the probability density function of gamma distribution with two parameters now we are specifying that these two distributions are equal therefore f of chi square is equal to <coughs> directly i am specifying by uniqueness theorem of moment generating function chi square is equal to x f of chi square is equal to f of x that is equal to f of x what is f of x you need not write this is equal and to be now yeah what is uh, a a is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 whole power lambda lambda is n by 2 divided by gamma of lambda gamma n by 2 into e power minus a x what is a 1 by 2 what is x chi square chi square by 2 multiplied by x x power that is chi square whole power n by lambda n by 2 minus 1 limits are 0 less than x chi square less than infinity this is what the limit. so what i just i simplify for one more step so therefore the moment generating function of chi square distribution f of chi square is equal to and taking 1 by 2 power n by 2 this is so therefore 1 divided by 2 power n by 2 gamma of n by 2 and e power minus chi square by 2 and chi square whole power n by 2 minus 1 Between the limits zero less than chi square less than infinity, we can also write less than or equal to here. So right, so therefore this is the uh, probability density function of chi square distribution. Hope you understand. So these are the formulas are required to by heart. These are the formulas are required to keep in your mind so that only we can calculate this. Right. Therefore the probability density function of chi square distribution is f of chi square is equal to 1 by 2 power 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2 e power minus chi square by 2 chi square whole power 1 by 2 minus 1 limits are 0 less than equal to chi square less than infinity that is chi square limits are 0 to infinity thank you